Hi. Hey, hey, people. Booty level two, and he has automatic here. Okay. Okay, that's it. So yeah, you were correct. The camera tokens only sees things starting from. Okay. Yeah. So in that case, um, with this on regular order. A camo token would appear. Alright. Or a TO camo token would appear. So you're starting fresh. In this position. Okay. Um, do, you, do you want to have the screenshot to make this sure? or? No, no, no. I, I trust you, man. Okay. So, right. You blindfolded me so. for, for a reason. <laughs> That's going to sound a so, bit uh... outside of context. <laughs> <laughs> Um, we will declare, uh, declare a move, so going to this, just to be out of line of sight of your uh, combo token. Yep, uh, sounds good. And, coming over. and he wants to, uh, it is Zaito Togan trying to set up smoke here. Okay. Go ahead and throw it. Uh, may maybe I just misplayed this from the beginning. Uh, I think I'm on 16s. Yeah. Or is sure. it oh, actually you're on 13s because yeah. with the scape. Ah, oh, man. <laughs> That's one of those difficult Never mind. starts biting you in the ass. What's weird is that these panoplies seem to be a light sources like they they glow green so they technically are lighting up the place but uh, it's still a little visibility area yeah it's a bit difficult then um okay you can still crawl inside and loot the panoply i think should yeah if, if i it shouldn't trigger anyone uh, I just have to think a little bit. No, no, I'm I lost my marker state, so that's the problem here. Oh well, we have the orders. First, regular one. Uh, he activates again and tries to land smoke. Would uh, you like him to? Crawl a bit? No, I don't don't need to. Okay, you just wanna idle. Yeah, so it's an idle and with the second okay, shot I would declare yep. the smoke right into ahead. this position. It's uh, the thirteen again. Okay. Yes. Smoke's up. That uh, appears to be quite nice. Now the question is... Um, so that is okay. Is that a specialist operative loadout? No, it's it's uh, the, the normal guy. Okay, just a regular. So, that's right. because I don't want to, uh, yeah. Um, you can have him loot like uh, using booty level one, then you may end up rolling like grenades or monochrome and close combat weapons or EM grenades, which are also nice. Yeah. Or you can roll up like a, another explosive close combat yeah. weapon. Which I will spend uh, the next regular order into sight of Togan. Yep. Uh, he stands up and moves four inches, uh, moves three point four and I think zero point. All right. 
here. I don't think anyone is seeing him. Yeah. Um, from the side, aside from the, from the camera token, of course. Yeah. But yeah, oh, no, that's no, no, no. the smoke. smoke, the smoke, right. You're right. Yeah. Yeah. I think I need to set up um, smoke again. Okay. Go ahead. Let's make it sure. Going. There. Okay, it's up. Well, barely. That's okay. Great. Next regular order goes into Saito Togan. Going four inches okay, to well, this to, and check something. I believe uh, if you're going uh, non pro around here. McMorrow is going to be able to see you, just as a heads up. Yeah, but... His base will still be vis visible. If you just go, but it's, it's... Uh, go around like Oh, you, you can, you can uh, throw normal grenades, okay. That... Yeah, I can. Uh, Although it would to be make sure. like minus 6 or minus 12. Yeah. I would like to um, throw a third or a fourth smoke grenade with my second shot skill. Sure. And having it uh, then there. Alright. And here comes the roll for this. Yep. Yep. All good. And this Perfect. is uh, yeah, next I'd regular say, order. I'd say you save yourself from that power as well. Going four inches to this, and Alrighty. going four inches to this, to reaching base contact with the ACT two. Sure. Next regular order. I declare an idle, and then declaring a CC attack with martial arts level two. Okay. So rolling two dice. Martial arts that level is... two is one. It's just, no. it's just a one die. And uh, I, it's it's, uh, it's martial. No, it's no, normal. sorry. Ma okay. Yeah, I always mis mistake it. Sorry for that. So two normal hits. Okay, making six it armor six. saves. So yeah. it's armor eight. Uh, Your damage 13. So I need to roll six yep. or higher to survive that. <laughs> okay. ah. <laughs> you might want to use martial arts level, uh, whatever, level 2. It would be damage 16. Well, I would do it again with martial arts level 4. Okay. So here, level four here comes... Uh, yeah. yeah. Okay, go ahead. I uh, don't believe 15 is a crit. No, it's a CC yeah. 24. 24, yeah. okay. Yeah. Okay. All right, two wounds. Okay. I will spend one additional regular order and attacking it with martial arts level two. Okay. So going to damage 16 now. One yep. die. And that's and a crit. You come so destroy it. A crit. Yeah, no, I, I, I haven't destroyed it. So I took the third a structure, and now two additional armor rolls. To, if, if I inflict one more damage, then it is completely destructed. Right now it's just damaged. Right. So with the third wound, it's still damaged, even though it has structure three. Yeah, but it, it's uh, damaged and damaged so now... is in game state. If you yep. lo if you've lost all your structure points, you are damaged. It's like unconscious for uh, normal troopers. Right. So you got to break through these yes, two levels of unconscious as well. W one yes, level of unconscious. One, one level of unconscious. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. It's okay. I think. 
Nah. Yeah, I think so, dude. I had to roll above eight. Okay. I never. Oh, man. Uh, those looting and sabotage games that I played, I never got around to like actually hitting the console. I was just going for, for the fun of plays and shit. <laughs> um. Ah, that's a hard decision here. Um. Wait, so not... can you actually repair this thing, the console? Or is it uh, Ooh. it's or is it off the table? I don't think it's repairable, is it? If if I have destroyed it then it's it's uh, away, but I mean yeah, but right now when you got the wounds that you could uh, restore in theory, can engineers actually do that? I don't think they can, but uh, just wanted to make sure. So it's it's uh, scenery and not um, not a trooper or something like that. So I don't think that the engineer can uh, repair it. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. Okay, great. So I need to spend the last regular order into Saito Togan. Okay. I w want to move him four inches to. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. No, I don't think that's able. I think you he. I think he hops over it just fine. No okay. problem. Okay. Uh, however, and uh, when you were like right here, I'd like yeah. to check if uh, Macmorris is in. Yeah, so that's if okay. I may just. Uh, yeah. Take it like that. Actually, no. His base okay. is obstructed by this stupid thing. Sorry, you're good. Um, I would then declare an CC attack with martial arts level 4, since I have a higher chance of critting. Yep, more dice. I don't want that. Nope. Okay. Oh. So, 6 or higher. All right, one additional structure, one additional. Yeah, I think it's it's destroyed. Yep, yeah, it's done. Do we have the? I will the flip. Markers? No. no. I will flip the uh, irregular order of my Hunsakut to Rikamo Saito Tokugan. Makes sense. And then it's your turn. Alrighty, so. Uh -huh. Haven't lost anything, uh, but uh, I lost my AC console. All right, uh, in that case, here goes the Thatcher's face. I believe the Makara sees the Peacemaker as the closest figure, so yeah. he'd go through this door. So, stand him up. Flipping his extremely impetuous aura, he automatically like, opens the door. Since he is in difficult terrain, he uses his second movement movement value right now. So he mm -hmm. goes four inches here. Yeah. Any arrows? Nope. Okay. And then, since he cannot move again, since he was in difficult terrain at that time. Uh, he would like to throw smoke, and mm -hmm. I think he'd do that over here, or over here, maybe, yeah. Let me put this right here. So yeah, just barely within 8 inches, so yeah. 19s, and it's up. It's all good. Alrighty. So... Okay, so I don't think... Oh, actually, it doesn't matter. 
Uh, I'm gonna spend a regular order from uh, from this hacker who is mm -hmm. outside of the link to put yep. the marksmanship level two on the Rushi. Yep. There it is, and I'm also I also need to drop the tactical weapon sword on him. All right. So let's activate the link. Uh, Rushi is going to be the link leader. Yep. Uh, he is right now in the uh, difficult terrain. So he would go somewhere around four inches like that. Does he fit there? Oh, yeah, I think does. you can make it fit somewhere like yeah. Okay. Yeah. So Zuyong is gonna go four inches there. And he sees Saito. Yeah. So Valeria and... is gonna just well, shoot for a little bit. She doesn't want to be the role. Okay, uh, arrows from Saito? No. Okay, I'm gonna try to discover him. Yeah. Marksmanship ignores the, the cover, it also ignores the low visibility. The yep. low visibility. I mean, the MSV2, not marksmanship. Yeah. So I'm on Go zero, I'm on 13s, discovering him. Yeah, that's a 10. Yeah. And here he is again. Okay. So third, third um, order. I would just just his facing that he yeah. has okay. not the Yokamo guy directly in the back. Of course. So, that, so he no, doesn't have okay. nano pulse, right? Yeah. No. Okay. So another order. Uh, Rushi is no longer in the difficult terrain, so he can just. Uh, Slide in a little bit mm -hmm. uh, to keep the, the cover bonuses. Valeria is gonna crawl again so as to not be seen by Saito. Uh, the Zuyong is gonna go like that so that the the rock prevents him and Saito from seeing each other. Yeah. I'd say from that position it's uh, all right. Mm -hmm. Okay. So arrows from uh, Saito. Yeah, there will be a dodge. Uh, he will go prone if he okay, succeeds. Okay, just, just a regular dodge. Okay. Yeah. So now <laughs> we're meeting the the wonderful world of uh, dodging regularly if you're attacked through smoke, but dodging with minus three if you are attacked through low visibility terrain. So if I recall correctly, and let me look this up, and uh, people in chat, please feel free to, to correct me if I'm wrong. As far as I can tell, uh, and I do admit this is a dumb piece of rules, if a person is attacked through low visibility zone that imposes like minus three, and that minus three is actually applied even if you are dodging the attack. Now I'm gonna look this yep. up. Low no, it's it's right. To the relevant attribute. So no, it, it's it's right. So I, I'm dodging on tens here. So okay. The smoke dodge wouldn't have any effect. So. <laughs> All right. So he's unloading his Spitfire uh, on fifteens. Okay. Got a twelve. No. Okay. Oh. Four armor, four hits. He's shocked off the table completely. Okay. All right, so people are now outside of the 
a little difficult terrain, which is nice. So let's spend tactical awareness order of the, the Zuyong, who's gonna mm -hmm. be the Haris leader. And let's move these guys up. Just to reposition them. Valeria is going to stand up. Okay, I don't think there will be any arrows. No, everything okay. is fine here. So we're moving our guys like this. Zoom is gonna go like this. And Val is gonna Alright, so the thing I'm currently worried about is this camouflage marker who may or may not be the LGL Hunza kid, which can be potential. <laughs> this can potentially be pretty nasty, is, is, is what I'm saying. I, I'm really sorry for traumatizing you that much. <laughs> <laughs> DS11, never forget. Okay. So let's spend the uh, second to last order in the group, in group two. Uh, activate the dozer. Dozer is going to yep. crawl a little bit here, and his NASMAP is going to go. Oh, actually, he's using. Using uh, the second value. Okay, he's gonna go four. Uh, actually, let's just have him go 1.4 to here and 2.6 to here for that order. And then and then I think that's it. Okay, uh, now let us activate the camel marker with his irregular owner. Yep. This guy is gonna go. So two point three right here. Seven right here. Uh, now arrows, I think. I don't think I yeah. move them. There's under control. But um, just to make sure, Scarface will have plan of fire once he um, goes out of the smoke. Sure, that is absolutely true. Okay. Okay, so the second uh, short skill, he goes four inches, he goes full ham. So yeah, you then can there... discover him now if you want to. Yeah, so discover from Scarface and from the Oxbot too, I guess. Okay, uh, the Oxbot would be having plus three, so he'd be discovering yeah. me on his native fizz. I mean, his native whip, which is 11. <laughs> <laughs> so Maybe enough. Shot, right? Yeah, the ox butt. Uh, okay, no. he failed, and, and now Scarface. Scarface okay. should be on minus six, so somewhere on the seven, I guess. Is he? That's within like uh, oh. 32 inches, so he'd be yeah. just on minus three. Okay, so then he has a V10, yeah. hopefully. Yeah. No. <laughs> By the way, did you know that you, you cannot surprise attack with things like uh, flamethrowers and machine faults? Because they're direct template weapons. For but, some reason, uh, 
Yeah, so it turns out it doesn't apply to chain bolts and uh, flame rows. Yeah, because you don't, don't have to roll it. Yeah, actually in the core it does apply, which, yep. is, uh, ah, okay. which is fine because that's the way I've been playing it all that time. Yeah. But as far as I, as I understood it, it will be changed with N4. Yeah, yeah, this is the N4 change. Okay, so the last order in that group. Someone was calling. Go get it. Okay, so last order. Moving them up. Four inches like this while uh, hugging cover. Of course. What are your arrows? So the peacemaker and his oxbot will uh, delay while Scarface tries to discover. Sure. Okay. Uh, does the surprise shot with yep. the light shotgun? This is the Liberto. Yep. And he's gonna light shotgun the peacemaker specifically with the impact template mod. Yeah, well, we will shoot. Okay. So, let's see. Does it? Nope. Or is it? Isn't it cancelled by the uh, door or? Oh, the I door. I didn't. Oh, I did. Oh, so isn't it oh, open? Oh, fuck. It, it is supposed well, to be closed, we, we, right? No. Yeah, but uh, we, we can play as that uh, uh, it has open. Like, uh, that is the way you thought Just it Just a moment. It is then. I gotta pick that up. And I'm back. Okay, if we're playing it as, uh, as open, then yeah. Light shotgun all the way. So um, it won't reach my my combo marker won't do anything. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Then a face to face against the peacemaker. Yeah. Okay, I believe I am on uh, seven teams, but I'd say he he sees most of your model. Yeah. You are not uh, only frenzy, right? Yeah, that's the problem. I feel yeah, I'm frenzy. So okay. if I survive and don't go dagger it. And I'm on six now with the Spitfire. And the Flamer, of course, uh, goes through him. Yeah, he just puts it on me. Okay, let's do the face to face with the Peacemaker. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, two hits for him. And uh, I'm gonna roll the Flamer save right away. Okay, he's dogged. I'm unconscious too. He's burning. Yeah. The Liberto is dead. Okay. So... Let's activate our irregular girl. Uh, and let's have her move two inches to here and two inches to here. Your TR bot is seeing her. Does yeah. it have any um... arrows? There wasn't a Panzerfaust Zensha, right? So it's only a DP in Maybe. West. Only, only a DP. And Zensha is a regular model. So. Uh, it, it was a you regular one. Okay. Who it is. Yeah, uh, in that case, I would delay. Okay. And I'm going to go another four inches with my second skill. Ah, no. Like that this. was the problem. Yeah, you, you can take Kunzakuts too. I was uh, was thinking about yeah, um, yeah. There are a second Liberto. Yeah, grab All it. Right. It's okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, so we have actually two irregular models here in our group. So this leaves some 
It leaves us with some stuff to do with our uh, with our command tokens. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's actually do that. Let's spend a command token to do the coordinated order with McMorrow and uh, this irregular camera token since they are both irregs. Yep. So let's make um, the camera token in the spirit cap. So. Yep. McMorrow is gonna go. Wow. What the? Okay. So six inches. Was somewhere around here. Right there. Okay, he's here. And the camo token is just gonna is gonna Yeah, the camo token. Okay, so the camo token is gonna so one point so point four inches there, and the remaining three point six inches to here. Don't believe there's anyone. Yeah. Who can see him since the sniper is no. Is here. No arrows, yep. I think. Right. Okay. And now let's loot the panoply. So, if I recall correctly, it is ruled like this. Specialists have a bonus that if they pass their whip check, they will be able to choose a decharge. Yeah. So, by succeeding at a whip roll, the specialist troops can replace the result of the booty chart roll with D charges. So, does it mean that I can roll the booty, look at it, and then say, nah, I want a D charge instead of that? Uh, yeah, I would say so. Hmm. Okay, interesting. Yeah. <laughs> right, in that case, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna loot the panoply first, and then roll the booty and see what it's gonna get. So this is yep. a good FO, uh, not the LGL. So what? Okay, so it's a 5, so that's success. Let's roll booty... Yeah, let's roll booty level 2, I guess. Uh, yeah, I, I'm definitely replacing that with the D-charge, she already has a flash pulse. <laughs> Okay, but so. you can have an active uh, burst two flash bolts. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, yeah, that's a, that's a nice point. That's, I guess. Okay, uh, sixth, sixth to last order. Um, do I also want this to be a coordinated one? Yeah, I'd say. Yep, let's uh, roll it up with the McMurro. Mm -hmm. And Hunzakot is also going to be the, the spearhead. So it's just going to go four inches here. Through the window. Yep. Okay, I believe the juice cage dude does not see her. Yep. And McMara is just gonna go six inches like that. Still dashing the smoke. Yep. Whoa, where what? Oh. Where did he oh, go? Oh he will appear somewhere. Oh there he is. <laughs> okay, he's right here. So I still think this current face is gonna see him. Wow. No, uh, with the smoke, it's it's okay. But, I mean, if, yeah. he, if he moves like here, will the scar face see? Yeah. Him? Yeah. Uh, sure yeah. There's a slight line of fire. Yeah. Yeah. 
this right now. Okay, um, okay, so these guys are all from. Works just fine with me. Um, yeah, so my camo marker has no line of fire to your own Sakuta, yeah, I guess. As of, as of right now, I don't think it yeah. does. Okay, so second skill, Hunzakut is gonna move again. Four inches to here. And MCM. I think it's just gonna idle. Okay. Just gonna move in place. All right. So uh, next thing, uh, I'm gonna activate Makoro's irregular aura, and he's gonna do the cautious movement. Yep. So I'm gonna go six inches to here. All right, throwing a smoke grenade is still considered an attack, right? Yep. And so does so is uh, like looting the battlefield. Okay. Mm -hmm. So let's spend the fifth order of the Hunziko. Uh, fifth to last order into the Kunzukut and mm -hmm. have her do the intuitive attack with the mine. Since she cannot place it the usual way, since there is a, the enemy camel marker, she will have to yep. do the whip roll. So she's gonna place it in face to face contact like this. Whip 14. And the mine fumbles out of her hands and breaks it. <laughs> I move game. Okay. Uh, in that case, let's spend the full. Let's spend the second order into Makmura. Mm -hmm. You're just gonna touch the the panoply. And with his second skill, he's gonna loot it. So yep. here goes his whip roll. And he fails it. I'm sensing a pattern here. Okay. Hmm. Actually, all right. Yeah, let's do it like that. Okay. So we're gonna move Hunzaku like this four inches. The intention is not to be seen by uh, your prone guys. Just gonna be up in his face. Up in the face of your Kunzuka. Your arrows? Uh, I'm thinking. I reveal you will shoot me or plant a mine. That is true. If you shoot me, you have some better odds. If you're placing a mine, I will do nothing. Okay. Mm, I'm gonna drop her prone with my second church skill. Yeah. And move her additional two inches. Not quite in base to base contact, but uh, it's fine. Okay. 
Okay. All right, second to last skill. Uh, Hunzakur is gonna crawl to touch the, the console. Arrows from the Hunzakur. I mean, from your pro camera marker. <laughs> I will shoot you with my light shotgun. Okay, fair enough. Uh, I'm gonna light shotgun you in return. So we're both on 14s, I think. Yep. Okay. So here goes. <sighs> ah, almost a crit, but not quite. So five and a seven. I'm dead, yeah. Yeah, she's zero, zero. Okay. And now, uh, spending her last order in that group, with her first skill, she's gonna plant the decharge. Uh, mm -hmm. And with the second short skill, she's gonna detonate one. So I um, three hours wait, I wait, wait, wait. Um, Detonation is not an attack, as far as I can tell. But uh, at least Comlock says um, an AC2 can only be damaged by CC attacks with CC. Oh, by CC attacks. Okay. The okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, all right. In that case, um, I'll move her. Two inches over here, so that she has some. Yeah, so that she is protected somewhat. Yeah. Well, and then she she will try to stop the charge on a on a ten. That's a success. Yeah. So three armor saves. Three armor saves. Got to roll eleven. Okay, two wounds. And that's the end of my turn. Okay, wait, just patching the markers here. Oh, oh man. man. So, yeah. In the previous version, you could. Uh, uh, Problem here. You can just copy paste the wounds. Yeah, that was the the intention. <laughs> okay, no, it's right. Okay, let's see. Are there any negative effects? Okay, okay. I lost. I lost my hunter inside the tagline. So, so I'm. Well, you're you're echoing. Out of. You're echoing for some reason. Oh, sorry. I think it's okay now. Yeah, uh, I have the, the voice chat for TTS on a shortcut. Oh, so, eight okay. regular orders and the tactical awareness for scarf face. Yep. I somehow right. need to get rid of your Hunza code. There is one way to do it by close combating her with, uh, with the scarf face. <laughs> okay. I will use the tactical awareness order for from Scarface. Alrighty. He uh, will be the link leader. Yep. Um, they will declare a move. Cordelia's, uh, name, not Cordelia, but uh, Valerius Valeria. is standing up. Okay. He will move. Four inches, and he will move six inches to this.
and we will move again so that um, okay um, yeah. at some point you may or may not be in Kunzukut's zone of control yeah but that's okay I guess okay yeah, Scarface will uh, stand here all right Kunzukut will try to change facing if you're in the ZOC yeah and Valeria will um, just touch the door to uh, open it. Okay. So, yeah. Um, change facing. And that's a nine. Okay, that's a four. So let's have her see just enough of this. Of this doorway, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Door is open. That's the problem. Um, I will break my wing team and activate the killer hacker. Alrighty. Um, since since he's outside and not multi-terrain, uh, he can simply vote through it, I guess. That's and true. That was quite him? loud. Yeah. Uh, I don't. Think so? Yeah. No. Yeah. Neither do I. Okay. So um, change facing again uh, on a nine. Not quite. Okay. So she's probably. In that uh, case, next regular uh, next regular order goes into the uh, killer hacker. Okay. Going. Wait, 2.6 to this, and 1.4 to the other okay, side, uh, just to get a little bit more oh, cover. She, she can only do change facing, so she will try and do that. Yeah. I will shoot you with my combi rifle. Okay. Yeah. That's not it, so go ahead and shoot me. Outside of cover, I believe. So you got 12. And two hits? I believe it's three hits. Nope. I'm not in uh, cover when you were nope. going outside, right? Okay, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, could, three hits. Right. Yeah. So Against fatality, damage, 14. 15, yeah, 15 or higher. 14. Yeah. Wow. Well, okay. <laughs> She's just unconscious. But you got the job done. Yeah, I shouldn't have shouldn't have changed facing. I thought you were going to connect your scar face to it, because uh, you know, moving the entire link didn't seem uh, uh. Would have didn't seem worth it, but you just bro uh, broke it, so I guess it works in that way as well. Okay. With my next order, I would activate Cordelia. Yeah. We will declare a move. So the Nasmat will go right now. Come on, 3.8 to this and uh, 2.2, I guess. Uh, yeah, 2.2. 2. To this. Uh, no arrows, I guess. Uh, no. So uh, I would declare a second move, going four inches, and Cordelia, of course, idles. Yep. Going to this. Next order, Cordelia again declares a move. Okay. 
that's what we're gonna do. Okay. And we will move again, touching it uh, somewhere like here. Here we go. With the next order, Cordelia activates. Um, well, the Nathmat will move six inches back. It will be no temp. Yeah, that's okay. And I try to repair the Peacemaker. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, that's, that's a success. Piece. Uh, he's back, but the Oxbot is still deactivated. I need to go in base contact and make a whip row to reactivate him, right? Uh, you're talking about who? The Oxbot? If the Peacemaker uh, yeah, if the peace peacemaker tries to um, to reactivate the oxbot, you want an answer? I don't think it has to be that way. Could you please uh, tell us, Calendar? Uh, you just have to activate uh, when you are inside uh, the zone of control. It's automatically, automatically, automatically uh, healed from disconnected. Oh. Okay, so Super only easy. A short skill is required. Yeah, just activate and it's pop back. It screwed me over uh, when I fought some anti Right. <laughs> of <Okay>. course, yeah. <laughs> so I now and hate this rule. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah sure Thank that. you. Okay. Okay. Uh, in that case, um, I will spend an order onto my peacemaker. Okay. Uh, so the Oxbot is reactivated then. Yeah. Uh, I will declare a move. Going six inches uh, just to get some here, I guess. Yeah, that's fine. And the Oxbot needs just to be in control, so he needs to retreat a little bit. To this and um, yeah, that should do the trick here, I guess. His second shot skill. Wait. Is that going to do anything? Uh, he, he moved a little bit. Okay. Um, I think with the second shot skill. We will move again, just to give me a little bit more cover, and the spot is going one inch more to this. Always touching the, the wall, if possible. Okay. All right. McMarrow is only impetuous, not extremely impetuous, right? Yep, that's right. So I can burn it down if I if I don't want to go. Okay. Um, well, I think that I will spend uh... yeah, that's the problem here. What does Valeria see? I think she's gonna be able to see me, to see McMorrow here, even if he's from. Yeah. McMorrow is uh, has bioimmunity, right? He's total immunity. Okay. In that case, um. I will spend by one order way, into... Yeah, yeah. By the way, I got a question. I, I take it that these walls are of the infinite height, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So I just noticed uh, that he has super gems, so that's why I that's why I asked. One order goes into um, Valeria and uh, Scarface. Valeria okay. will be link leader. We will declare a move. Okay. One point four. Uh, 
it's a little bit more. Turn it to this. Yep. Scarface uh, will go slightly backwards. Okay. Just a little bit. And with the second shot skill, uh, Valeria wants to close the door. Okay. She is, go ahead. She isn't a fan of uh, grumpy wolves, so. Yeah. Then um, I will spend the last regular order into my brawler MSV2, standing up. All right. Don't believe she's anymore. Yeah. So nothing more to be done there. And one command token is spent to create a calling with Arslan as link leader, the killer hacker inside, and the brawler inside. And that should be my second turn. Okay, thank you. So here goes my uh, impetuous phase. McMurrow doesn't want to go outside yet, so he'd like to stay put. Assisted fire from the Rushi is over. So I got. So my Alberto is dead. My Hunziker is also unconscious. So this leaves us with certain limited options. Uh, if, I, if I look outside here, I don't think Scarface is uh, seeing me, right? I mean, yeah, uh, no, no, no. He, he does see me. I, I meant uh, he doesn't have cover. Is that correct? Yeah. Yeah, so okay. Scarface and cover, that is um, no deal here. <laughs> Alrighty. So let's activate the link of uh, our Zuyon. I go for the tactical awareness order. Four inches to here. God damn it. Come on. There's a lag in my mouse. So uh, he goes four inches to here. Rushi goes six inches to here. He opens the door. Don't think there will be any arrows, right? Yeah, that's right. Okay, so another four inches here. Okay, so next thing we're gonna do, we'll go activate the Rushi as a leader. Mm -hmm. Have him hug the console without seeing Scarface or anyone else really. Yeah. While other people. No arrows, I think. The Ox Bug thankfully doesn't have the repeater, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm, 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 I'm relatively safe. Okay. So Rushi will try to loot the panoply since there are mm -hmm. no like uh, limitations as to who can do it. So whip 13. Okay, it's fine. And booty level 2. Uh, he's got a breaker rifle. Oh, <laughs> quite nice. Oh, that's uh, that's okay. Reasonably, it's reasonably well. Okay, now let's spend uh, McMurray's irregular order. 
have them touch the console and touch the panoply, I, I mean, and then uh, loot it. Okay, that's a six, that's fine. So I want to roll booty level one. Mm -hmm. And he's got a combi rifle. Considering oh, no. the BS11, it's not that. It's not that bad. All right. So I guess we'll be able to see the distance in a bit. So third to last order, uh, we're gonna have the Zuyon here, the Leon here. And the Rushi is gonna hold a move here. And see the scar face. Scar face will shoot with his heavy rocket launcher uh, in blast mode. Yeah. Okay. I don't think he's gonna clip anyone. Or I guess we could in oh. check it. But yeah, I specifically want them to be a little bit far from each other. So okay, I'm gonna spitfire you. Yep. Yeah, that's uh, 16 inches. Out, just outside of 16 inches, thankfully. So you're yep. on your 13s. Yep. And I'm on my 15s. Oh, uh, come on. I'm sorry. Oh my god. I'm so sorry. Jesus. Well, um, Only I'm up. Only a second wound. Yeah, you're, you're still good. So you got two wounds, one remaining. Yeah. You got the courage, so if you want to, you can just... Yeah, I just want to go a little bit backwards. Okay. Two inches, right? Yeah. So yeah. To go. Yeah. He's a little bit. Yeah. It's... Okay. okay. Uh, based on the silhouette, I still don't think it's enough to grant him cover, but. Uh... Yeah. Right. That's okay. okay. All right. Second to last. Um... The Rushi is gonna eyeball. And we will shoot with the heavy uh, the rocket launcher in blast mode. Okay, uh, doing the same thing with the Spitfire. Yeah. Ah, oh, that was a 13, but the 12. But that's a 12 good. still. Okay, so 13 yeah. and 14. Uh, how does you? Okay, so Work. 9. Um, so I'm of five, so yeah, he is uh, unconscious. Uh, wrecked, okay. whatever. Yeah. Alrighty. So, last story in that group. Let's spend it on the Nazmet. It's gonna go six inches here. No arrows, so mm -hmm. we'll go. Four inches to here. That's the dozers. That's it. Yeah. Okay. So, what we need to do now is we'll need to to do some speculative fire shenanigans, maybe. Okay. Uh, Eighth to last order. McMurra is gonna go. I guess he's gonna go somewhere about like that. 
so as to not see the aux bot yet. Yeah, that should, should be, be okay. okay. Yeah. And he will try to throw smoke uh, right over here. Yeah. The aux bot, since he is affected by the template uh, and uh, Makmura. Okay, uh, so Makmura is impetuous, but he's also martial arts. So does he have stealth or does he not have stealth? Because I think impetuous models cannot do stealth. I would think so too. So it's. Well, okay, it's so not in, important here, so. Yeah, in that case, you can just change facing with the Oxlap. Yeah, I would just try it. Okay. So I got a three, smokes up. I failed. Okay. Yeah. All right. Is it enough to have the thing? Okay. Um, let's spend the full aura into Makmara and have him do the assault. Since he has berserk, he also has assault. So he's gonna. Yeah, but uh, you you have no line of fire. Fire to me. Uh, you need line of fire to your original target to declare an assault. Right. Okay. In that case, I'll just move regularly. <laughs> Should be enough uh, in both okay. ways. Four point seven and then one point four point three and then one point seven. I think. Why is he hovering above? I don't understand. Yep. Okay, so he's seeing you. Uh, I mean, he's touching you. Yeah, there will be an electric pulse. Okay, uh, I'm not gonna do berserk. Instead, I will do martial arts level three, so that I'm I'm hitting you on like what twenty six. Yeah, twenty six. So, hold on, so 4 plus 6, that's a 10, okay, so it wins the face to face well. Uh, Actually it doesn't. Uh, why so? Uh, you can't use martial arts and combat skills uh, when you are hit by an electric pulse, it's only, you, only your naked close combat value. Let me double check that. Well, then that's a 7. So your electric pulse is having a close combat value of 7. Yeah. So I think uh, in that case nothing happens. Why? Uh, I, my 7 is higher than your 4. And I'm always but I'm on 7. But, but that's my naked close combat value. So I apply plus 3 to my result. Because it's above 20 by 3 points. Yeah, okay, and yeah, in that case nothing happens. Right. Yeah. Sorry. Okay. Uh let's do it again. <laughs> uh okay, since I can't do martial arts then I yeah. I, I, okay, so you can do yeah. modifiers. And you cannot uh, like increase your damage if you use martial arts level two, right? B plus three the damage. Uh, does not allow either the user or the adversary to apply any mods to the CC or physics attribute. Right, yeah, so no physics bonuses. Okay, in that case, I'll just, I'll just whack you uh, regularly. Yeah. yeah. Okay, that's 11. Ah. So two hits, damage uh, 16. Okay, unconscious level one, and I'd like to disengage you. Yeah. Okay, I actually gotta be careful with that Drews because he's got viral pistol, and I have vulnerability to viral. Yeah. Okay. 
somehow the McMurray doesn't have the full profile. He just cuts off on the on the spiz for some reason. Are you seeing that as well? Uh, yeah. Okay, hold on. Just gonna correct that real quick. Is that good? Yep. Okay. That's fine. So now what we're gonna do fifth to last order. We're moving him up like this to the aux bot for six inches. Don't think that the Jews are seeing him yet. No, that's fine. Okay, and I As, don't believe um, that we, we are in these today's contact with the peacemaker yet. Yeah, so... Um, Keep in mind that McMurray uh, has combi rifle right now. So if you dodge him, I yeah. may end up like, going for the combi rifle. Yeah, I will shoot with my Spitfire. Hmm, okay. Uh, well then... No, I, I can take it. Uh, I'll just double chain rifle you without hitting my Kunzu Okay. So I'm on uh, 12. No, you're on. Hold on. Uh, yes. Yeah. You are on 12. Uh. Okay, that's a hit. No, it's Need a to roll 13. Up 10. Oh, oh, 13, right. Okay. Yeah, that, that was, the, was the problem here. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, two uh, armor faith against uh, 13. I have armor yep. 1, so I need to be 13. Unconscious yep. level 2. Okay. Uh, now. Uh, let's uh, idle with McMurra and then throw smoke again over to here. Your Druze is affected by the template, so you can dodge outside of it for minus three. It is touching his yeah. Head. yeah, yeah. So we can go outside and not be uh, smoked up. Yeah, I would try the dodge. Okay, uh, I'm throwing smoke on a 19. That's a hit. Yep. And I fail. Okay, now third to last order. Actually, I'm gonna super jump uh, above yep. over the over the uh, the off spot. Okay, not quite in base to base contact. Uh, and then with my second skill, I'm gonna touch the the console. Okay. Uh, yep. Second to last order. Uh, I'm gonna combine. Hmm. Uh, I can do Berserk against this console, right? To boost my close combat value. Is that correct? I would say so, yeah. Okay. Uh, in that case. Yeah, let's do Martial Arts 3 plus. Berserk, so it's a plus nine overall. Uh, 
So I'm hitting on 32s. This means anything above 8. Or I guess now. Yep. Starting from 8, that's a crit. Okay, that's a crit. So that's a third wound for, uh, for the council. And another another armor save. Yeah, and damage another, 16, uh, armor save. The armor piercing. Okay. She's fine. And I make it. Okay, yeah. and uh, last skill. I'm gonna do the same thing again. Berserking it. Okay, that's a 12. That's another wound. And it's, yeah, wrecked. and it's wrecked. Yeah. Let me put it like, like this. So that's my order. Okay. That's my, I mean, that's my turn. And I'm done. I may or may not want to disengage it. I can do this, right? At the yeah. end of the uh, thing. Okay, so I'll disengage it and I'll have him faced. Okay, like this should be enough. And that's it. The smoke is no more. Okay, so right now he's seeing your prone Arslan and the Jews. Mm. Okay, I lost Scarface, I lost the Peacemaker, Zaito's gun, and the Hunzakut's gun, so I'm down to six regular orders. Okay. Three, five, six, yeah. We will probably win this. I still think that the Scarface can uh, leave his tag since the pilot was still alive. Okay, um, Cordelia activates, says a move. Alrighty. The Nasmat is touching uh, Scarface. Okay, I believe the Spitfire is seeing him. Yeah, I think so too. Bear in mind that the manned tags cannot reroll uh, for repair. Yeah. 
Okay, the Rushi is gonna shoot the Nazmat. Yeah. Once he's in line and of fire. I try to repair um, Scarface. Okay, so double fifteens for the Rushi. Oh, I'm gonna roll another one. So that's a five. I made it. Okay. And a 13, so two armor saves for the Nazmat. Ah, uh, sorry. Uh, one, one more, but... It's okay. Yeah, it's gone. So did you repair the Scarface and all of his wounds are gone? I only recover one structure. Okay. Sometimes I confuse the levels of unconscious with the, with the structure points. I think he failed two armor saves, but at the, he's unconscious level two, since the Nazmats had structure points. He's just unconscious level two. Nah, it's. But who should repair it? Oh, um, well, makes sense. Okay. It's turn three anyway. 14. 14 against 4 on 13. Well, I think I will activate Scarface. Sure, go ahead. Um, I will declare... You're, up, you're outside of cover no. anyway, so you might as well move yeah. forward. I will move. Okay. Okay, McMorrow is going to do nothing. He's fine with his positioning. Um, the Rushi is gonna double shoot you with Spitfire. I will shoot you with my Mark 12. Oh, okay. with both of them. Alrighty. That's 4 on so, 13 for me. And double 15s for me. Yeah. Only a 3. And, and you I got crit. a crit. And another armor set. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay, Mark 12 is. So it's damage 16 with fatality, and he's on the armor. Yeah, okay, uh, unconscious level 2. Okay, it paid off. And the link is broken. Mm -hmm. Bear in mind that there is still Valeria. I believe she can excel. Yeah. yeah. I still think there is enough space for you to move it like this, see the Makmora and uh, shoot him up without being in zone of control of Valeria. Maybe. Ah, uh, but uh, that, that's a quite, quite risky play. I mean, um, it's, it's a bit tricky, but uh, if you don't do this... Um... No, no, I will activate uh, my Valeria. Okay. She will move to the door and open it. That's three inches, so I will open the door. Already. I have uh, one inch left. Okay, no so. arrows since the Rushi is wrecked. Yeah, the combi rifle will shoot your Rushi. Okay, it doesn't have cover. Yeah, you're on 14. Two hits. Two hits. Okay, and he is destroyed. Still got that panoply, so can't complain about that.
I think Valeria still has the picture that yeah. she can use. Yeah, but uh, then I need to use a Vikila hacker, and while he tries to redrum Valeria, uh, McMurro will simply pull out his chain rifle and uh, kill Aslan in the same, uh, yeah, that's same true. way. That you is the whole to, problem here. You may try to go for the Arslan first since uh, he's got hyperdynamics, so he has nice chances of dodging McMurro's uh, chain rifles. But that was still yeah, with but... the, the, the Juice Cage D is the problem. Uh, that's the problem here. Um... Uh, so screw it. It's since since I uh, I lost this game um, in both ways. Now we will do it that way. Um, Asan. Yeah, of course. Um, I will. Do I need to make? Aslan will use his lieutenant order, breaking the link. Okay. And um, he will. You still have coordinated orders, by the way. Yeah, of course. And uh, I think he will move one inch back. Yeah. Okay. And... Um, yeah, I'm gonna put the chain rifle on uh, the other side. Okay, I will shoot you with my multi rifle. Okay. In burst mode. Yeah. Does Arslan have fatality? Uh, yes, of course. He's a Druze. He's the Druze. Right. Okay. So chain rifle. Yep. Clips yep. both of them. But Arslan yep. can take a hit and keep going. Yeah. So I'm on okay. uh, 16. Yep. Go ahead. That's two hits. Two hits. So you need to roll about ten. Wow! Congrats! He's unconscious. Okay. So then the most important armor save for my killer hacker. Yeah. Oh. No, that's not enough. Okay. Yeah. And here comes Aslan. Yeah, Aslan's he makes fine. it. Okay. That's saved Valeria. I'll just place another unconscious marker somewhere there. Oh, no, it has to go to my kill hacker. Uh, by the so, way, no, it's right. keep, in, keep in mind that if you're gonna uh, throw the pitcher and remove Valeria, she won't be having the 10 bot uh, bonuses because the link is broken. The 10 bot only applies to her if she is in the same link with the Zuyon. And since the Rushi is gone, the Haris is gone as well. So yeah, but she doesn't have uh, so I can. And since gotcha she's not you. A, yeah, since she's not she's not a KHD, so she'll be having firewall modifiers stacked against her. So pretty right. easy chances. Right, right, right. Okay, we have uh, three orders left now. You have a doctor somewhere, right? Yeah, it's, uh, it's right there. And her nasmat is over is over there. So it's mm -hmm. it's not. Yeah, I'm I'm not gonna bother and try to get them up. Okay, I will coordinate Valeria and um, Scarface. Okay. Go right this is... Um, we will move. I 
think nobody can see her there. And Scarface will go. I'd say so, yeah. Maybe the Nazmat can see her. Yeah, that's okay. This guy here. Okay, uh, the Nazmat will, uh, will try to dodge. Yeah. Valeria will shoot um, and pitch her next to the Oxbot. Okay. So let me go for the Nazmat dodge. Okay, he succeeds. Okay, go ahead and shoot the, the pitcher. So I think um, I'm doing this from my starting point, somewhere like here. So yep. I'm uh, out of 8 inches. Yeah, you, so you're 14 good. then, I guess. Yeah, okay. there is a pitcher. Pitcher is up. When does the Zhu Yong start to see anything? He is uh, never, because he just uh, stared but... in the corner like an idiot. Ah, great. In that case, um, no. If I would do a coordinated order now, um, I would reduce my burst for the brain blast, right? Yeah. And also, so... you, if you do a coordinated order, you have to have a evil hacker. For, for hacking in general, yeah, right, of course. For, uh, so, for um, the, uh, hacking attacks. Yeah. Then the um, second last order goes into Valeria. Okay. She will move four inches uh, to, to this. Okay. Any arrows? Uh, nope. I mean, uh, Valeria kind of, if she can, if she's within 8 inches, she's gonna uh, brain blast, and the Zuyong, who is definitely within the 8 inches, he will try to release that. Okay, um, if Valeria, if your Valeria is in 8 inches of my uh, repeater, I would uh, declare a brain blast on her. Hold on. Uh, are we not seeing each other right now? Like through this gap? I think we do. Ah, uh, you that, were that's moving it. along this this line. Yeah. Okay. So then, uh, yeah. What would uh, would you would your arrows then be? Or be then whatever. Okay. So I'd be on elevens like. That uh, on the weapons for hacking with your repeater either way. But then, if I if you decide to hack me and uh, I decide to shoot you, if I win, I will still avoid the hacking attack, right? Yep. Yep. Decisions, decisions. Well, it's better to be on. Yeah, it's better to be on 11s. Yeah, it's better to shoot. Yeah, I may or may not be uh, outside of 8 inches, but I'm definitely within your line of fire, so I'd like to go for the shooting. Yeah, I'll shoot okay. the combi rifle. Yeah. And the zero. I will, yeah, I will brain blast you. Okay. So, yeah, that's within 16 inches. Yep. Yeah. I'm on 11s. I'm on, um, I, I Fourteen, just double check it. Yeah. Okay. She failed. I succeed both times. All right. Uh, that's a damage 14, right? Yeah. Okay, and she's BDS. Oh, she's BTS zero. Yeah. Best hacker in the game. Fun times. Yep, she is dead. Okay. With my last order. I would 
like to just activate Scarface. Yep. And I would declare a move. Sure about that. Okay. Okay, the Nazmat is seeing you. He's gonna dodge. The Zuyong will try to change facing. And I will move again. Is that right? Okay. All right, Zuyong changes facing on nine. Fails. Uh, the Nazmat dodges forward on a seven, and he fails as well. That was my last turn. Okay. Uh, are we seeing each other with the Scarface and the Zuyon right now? Yeah, we do. Okay, so the repeater is not welcome at all. So let's see. Um, I'm gonna spend two command tokens and move uh, the Gulam hacker and this regular Gulam from group one into group two. Yeah, I think that's the plan. Okay, um, let's spend the irregular order of the tactical awareness as we are. So Scarface is BTS 6. So if I go for brighter pistols, that's gonna be like above 9 in terms of damage and the combi rifle will do damage that would have to go above 8 okay so breaker pistols have a better, better chances okay um, can you hop over the panoply? can't quite remember that uh... I don't think you can Considering the height. Yeah. No, no, I, I don't think so. Okay. In that case, moving him up. Four inches. I think he's going to see the, the repeater. Yeah. Very so slightly. Okay, your arrows. Scarface will shoot with his Mark 12 and Valeria tries to hack him with. There's not much. Uh, gotcha. Okay, uh, yeah. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go for breaker pistols and I'm gonna shoot two into Scarface, one into Akira. Okay. So two into Scarface, that's 16 for me and I believe. And 13 for me. 13 is for you. Okay. Nate. Oof, almost a 13. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. Uh, yep, one wound. Okay. And now the breaker pistol to the repeater. Please. Yes. Okay. It's there. Here comes the ammo save. The BTS. Okay. Yeah, whatever. The, the I, I saw the 20. Okay. Okay, um, and the gotcha for Valeria, it's on yep. 14, no, you have the tin bot, so it's reduced, no, it fails. Okay, and now, yeah, okay, so I got one boom, yes. Uh... Okay, four orders, so let's see. Alright, 
goes right like that. So fourth to last order, tactical awareness as we are. Just gonna go four inches over there. Releasing Valeria. Think we do. Yeah. From that particular position. Okay. Um, just checking my physics. <laughs> oh, uh, then I have to shoot with my combi rifle. Yeah, okay, combi rifle. What about, yeah, what about uh, the Scarface? Uh, Mark 12, of course. Okay. So I think it's outside of 8. Yeah, so let's go for the combi rifle. Yeah, same thing. Is she right now in cover? Oh, uh, from that position, of course, yeah. Okay. Uh, so. Okay, two shots from Combi Rifle and Scarface, one into Bolivia. Okay, starting with uh, Scarface? Yep. Okay. One and yep. four. Mother of God. Mark 12 save, and he's unconscious. Nice. Great. And now then Valeria. One shot. Yep. 13's for me, that's a 9. I have to make one armor save. Yep. Yeah, yeah she's unconscious. Okay. Alright, so I have some guys in my combat group one, which who do not like do a lot. Okay, uh, let's activate the link team and move them out. So the long sniper is gonna go like this Miranda I'm gonna go like this and the one hacker will go like this Bounty Hunter is gonna go like this and the sniper Okay, um, all right, so yeah, spending fifth order. Fourth order. Third order. Don't think we're seeing Valeria. Yeah.
second to last order. However, do we go about this? Okay, um, the Gulam sniper is going to drop from and crawl a little bit here. Miranda is going to go, she's just going to go here. The hacker is going to go here. The bounty hunter. This sniper here is going to go like that. The link leader is still here to rescue the guy. Uh -huh. Okay. And so the last order, uh, Bounty Hunter with Red Fury, is going to be the link leader. And. Uh, Goes like this three inches without seeing the sky face, and then one more inch to actually see him. Or maybe, yeah, he can just go like that. Okay, so the golem sniper is gonna crawl out of the way for two inches, and the, the red fury guy. It's gonna go like this, and he's gonna see the Scarface while standing up. Mm -hmm. So, your arrows. Bear in mind the low visibility modifiers. I will dodge. Okay. Right into this position. Okay. Uh, so, uh, as far as it goes. Okay, yeah. so minus three for that low visibility bullshit and minus three for being a ten. So it's gonna be a nine. It's a minus six for being a tech. Oh, minus six. Okay, so that's minus nine overall. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That's, yeah. Uh, all right. Uh, Red Fury go. Boom. That's within the range and minus three for. A low visibility thing. Yeah. So five on fifteens for me. Okay. I need a six. Okay. It's a five. And I'm incredibly poor with my rolls, so uh, two sevens. Ah, okay. screw it. Oof. So, uh, in that case, I'm dead completely. Oh, so it's removed. Okay. Yeah. Ooh. Well, that, that was an important role. Of course, yeah. Yeah, so uh, activating the Nazmat. I'm just going to have him go like so. Six to here. Four to. Oh. Then, so I think he can uh, just uh, crawl on top of the console panel thingy on top of this. 
Can he? Oh, uh, you can simply go there. <laughs> oh well, yeah, I can. I mean, yeah, we can do the, the circulation team for now. Yeah, but uh, I think yeah, you, you're a bit higher than the. Uh, but you'd have to go to accomplish the whip roll, right, to secure the HPT while being in her zone of control. Yeah, but it yeah, so it's for for um, secure HPT, you only need to be in zone of control. So no rolls are are required. Yeah. Okay, in that case, I'm just gonna do that with my what, second to last one, and that's yeah. it. Okay, that's great game. Yeah, uh, thank you for the game. Uh, it's uh, you got me pinned down pretty good there because uh, like I had to sacrifice my uh, Zuyong and who like who could only uh, kill Valeria. Your Scarface was. He was pretty good at the end yeah, of the game. Yeah, of course. There. Oh, it would have been enough if the dodge had succeeded. <laughs> oh, so that was your plan. Okay. Yeah, of course. That was the whole plan there, just to, to make it uh, maybe into a tie. Okay, cool. All right, so let's count this up. It should be so an uh, eight, eight yeah. to five. Yeah, eight, didn't protect eight, my five. console, so so per strength point, ah, per structure wait. point, uh, lost at the end of the game. So do I understand correctly that we both have four objective points for that one? No, it's five. Uh, one for each um, structure point, and two if you destroy it completely. Okay, so five. So for it's both five. Of us. Five for both. My objective thing didn't do that. Okay, five, five for both of us, and I did this, the secure HVT, so six, and I acquired more, more items from the benefits. Oh, I'm sorry, I got disconnected. Well, at least I got disconnected at the end of the game and i got an achievement called dedication for tts oh great <laughs> based on how many hours i played okay so it seems like we've got like uh, five to seven right yeah okay so i lost do we count up the remaining army points yep okay so i lost my roberto i lost Valeria, I lost Rushi, I lost Zuyon, Hunzakut, Makmura, and everyone else is fine. So with that, I have 164 points remaining. One, six, four. One, six, four, wait, I'm noting. So for me, it's uh, the Brawler alive, then Arslan is alive, Cordelia is alive, and the Sierra is still alive, but that's it, right? So like Peacemaker, Valeria, yeah. Scarface. So 106 points remaining. 106 or 160? Okay, so I believe this is, uh, yeah, so I got, I got more stuff surviving, it seems. Yeah. Yeah, uh, I, I never started killing things on your side, so. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you dedicated your uh, orders to destroying the console, which I think was the right move. Um, I wanted to say something there. My left flank, uh, where the Makara was, it was relatively, relatively uh, unprotected. My core link was uh, on the right flank in the difficult terrain. 
So you had more or less safe uh, position to uh, roll up your peacemaker and do some other stuff. But uh, you decided to go for the consoles right now. Uh, yeah. Um, here I I calculated to reach um, or to to uh, destroy the console um, with two or at least uh, three or two orders left. Yeah. So in that case, I could have uh, simply rolled up the peacemaker a little bit uh, to set up a nice trap for uh, McMurrow. Just, yeah. uh, but you, your, um, your mind denied that uh, a little bit too. So it was difficult. If I had the chance to um, advance a little bit with the peacemaker, uh, things would have been easier for me. But yeah, uh, your action with the Hunsakut was quite uh, nice and unexpected. You mean the uh, the attempt to detonate the discharge on the no no in, in general uh, taking the discharges and then blowing uh, trying to blow the whole thing up so it, it was a gamble between my Kamumaka and your Hunsakut uh, when yeah. should I drop the mine and when not but uh, I, I don't think if uh, if I if there were, would have been a better solution for this than just waiting as long as possible and trying to shoot you. Yeah, initially, time. initially, I wanted to uh, concentrate on the Hunzukut, but uh, then I noticed that there is actually a panoply. I mean, the the advanced console that I could get, so I decided to sneak in some uh, some damage uh, early on, in the same way yep. you did. Um, so. What was it? I wanted to say something about about the uh, about your play and the list. What was it? Hold on. So the Scarface could have ripped into into the left flank. That was an option. The Peacemaker could also do that. Um, you could have more or less safely dropped me into the loss of lieutenant since well the regular gulam was the actual lieutenant um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> never thought about that option yeah, uh, the, the ox buck could also burninate the uh, uh the haris maybe i don't think the core was was uh, overwatching the entrance where McMurray was. So yeah, there was yeah. some options, but uh, going all out for the objective points was uh, it, it wasn't the worst idea, I think. Yeah. So, so securing uh, five obje objective points is pretty big. Yeah, and of course, um, I have really limited uh, resources here. Um, I was aware that uh, your first turn will wreck me at least two orders from my order pool and um, to to close things in turn two or three with uh, Saito that would have said that maybe you will change your position and I have to deal with um, other problems around the AC2 and so it, it was just the best solution and uh, hope for everything um, that came then yeah that's an interesting map a bit awkward, but uh, interesting nonetheless. I found it um, way better than expected. So the um, the AC2 on my side in in this big room where you ca uh, could have infiltrated in uh, was yeah really hard to defend uh, like I did. So <laughs> um, you 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 chose the right side. But on the other hand, all the restrictions about low visibility and uh, difficult terrain, that was no no big drawback. So it, it was a serious thing to remember, but um, the game was not broken uh, to it. Yeah. So I, I like it. Yeah, I enjoyed this map as well. The main action was going on in the, in the outpost itself anyways. So... That's an interesting uh, sort of balance uh, that uh, you can go for the dark cave area, 
and uh, grab some free uh, panoplies uh, with your multi-terrain specialists. That was an option. Uh, and you know that since, uh, since uh, most of the action is going to happen in the in the outpost itself, indoors, you know that uh, people are not going to be uh, hauling their asses to the uh, dark cave area to try and kill you. So yeah. grabbing yeah. the decharge, so, that decharges with the hunter hooks was a nice bonus. I think that uh, this was the the right plan here, and um, you played the map in a way uh, you could. So infiltrating camo guys with multi-terrain, if they are a specialist, they are yeah. that much uh, or the, the deal breaker on this map if, if they are outside. Um, everybody will focus his big stuff uh, on the insi inside with um, not much cover, especially on my side. Um, and you can d uh, deal with your uh, camo guys on the outside and just breach through the window and blow up the uh, panoply then. Yeah. Also, I just thought about it. Uh, this would be a great map for a Jamba then, because he has both MSV2, HMG, and multi-terrain. So he can be the king of that uh, uh, area. They are multi-terrain uh, troops? Uh, yeah, he, he's the multi-terrain, so he ignores the, the limitation. Well, then the Jambazan Harris would have been uh, nuts here. That, that would have been impressive. Yeah. So, it's nice to see that there are maps, at least in TTS, uh, not so much in the uh, on the live tables. I don't see a lot of special terrain rules uh, on live tables in, like, in our tabletop clubs. But in TTS, I'm enjoying these maps. Uh, I'm not enjoying the forest terrains, which are like spread around in small patches all over the table. I don't like this. But when it is thematically like consistent and when the, that terrain takes up a considerable chunk of the map, uh, then I appreciate this terrain uh, more. Well, I, I, I'm. Uh, um, I think the whole special terrain. So it, uh, in normal games, it's uh, a bit hard to remember, and um, of course, if you're throwing together your table, you often forget to. Okay, maybe I just wanted to add the rule here and everything. Um, so that's the problem in real life. But uh, yeah, I enjoy it too, uh, too. And here in TTS, it's. Um, a bit easier because you have all the rules um, displayed all the time, and uh, but I think especially the small t uh, small forest patches. We had a full tournament with it, so I was two weeks of building uh, forest patches for all the tables, and uh, that changed the game a lot. Um, but you need to, re uh, to to deploy them correctly with all the problems in uh, in mind, and then it is. Um, some kind of realism, I guess, because every combat uh, situation has some some terrain zones in it. Maybe it's yeah. like bushes, or maybe it's forest. Uh, and on the, on the other hand, um, if you have really um, sharp-edged bases for that, so that you can clarify inside and outside quite easily, yeah. then... Um, to, to, to state where is the border of yeah. the terrain. And of course, now uh, it's one week until and four drops, so special terrain will, I guess, be completely different. And maybe that will be the option to to um, have more of the, those rules on the normal tables. Yeah, plus one to both movement values. That seems uh, pretty interesting. Yeah. Of course. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank Great. You for the game. See ya. Yeah. See you too. Bye. Bye.